Well, a lot of people look at climbers and think, oh, it's about having huge guns. But in fact, the most important part of climbing technique is footwork and balance. So we're gonna talk a little bit about footwork, how best to use this amazing piece of technology, the climbing shoe. The first thing I wanna say is be precise with your feet. Good footwork is silent. You shouldn't be scrabbling and flailing with your feet while looking for a handhold. That's something I see beginners doing. They're looking up all the time. You should be placing your feet very precisely while looking at them. So think about silent feet, precise feet, and looking down more than you look up because really most of your weight should be on your feet. Another thing just in general to think about is use the point of that shoe. I see beginners standing on the arch of their foot. If I use the arch of my foot, I'm stuck in this position. It's difficult for me to move to the right or left, whereas if I'm on the point, I can pivot to go where I need to go next. It also gives you a little bit more extension. I can stand on tippy toe there, right? I can go from here to here and actually gain an inch or two. Another reason it's good to be on the point I can put both feet there if there's room on the hold, if I want to match feet. And then finally, it's just the construction of your shoe. Your climbing shoe is really designed to put your body weight onto the point of that toe. More aggressive shoes even more so. Climbing shoes are designed to stand on small edges. Uh, some more than others, a stiffer shoe might be better. But in general, it's important to understand what you can stand on? The answer is you can stand on really small stuff. The classic mistake I see people making is not trusting those little edges and getting all wobbly, hanging back on bent knees, clutching the handholds and burning way too much energy in their arms. This is what you want to do here. Stand up straight, push really hard into those edges, trust them, and now I can reach all kinds of stuff up here. In addition to being able to reach farther, I'm burning way less energy standing on straight legs. This is way more efficient. Now let's look at the actual position of my feet. My left foot is in the ideal position, just standing on the point of my toe. I'm often gonna use the inside of that front point too. Those are the two go-to positions when climbing a thin face using edges. Because I'm standing in a corner here, however, my right foot is on the outside edge of the shoe, which works fine too. So remember, your climbing shoes are built to do this and you should trust those edges and stand up straight on them. These are actually pretty big edges compared to what you can stand on in a good stiff shoe. Smearing is a term for friction footwork where in the absence of a foothold you just put as much rubber as you can against the rock and stand on that. This is a great place to demonstrate it because there are no footholds, but keep in mind you should look for smears all the time. I see people making a mistake all the time where they see a foothold and they don't look for an intermediate smear and they end up making a big move to get to the foothold and then using lots of energy to pull themselves onto that high step where they could have split that into two easier moves by using an intermediate smear. So look for smears everywhere. Um, but here obviously that's all I get. So let's see how it works. All right, no edges here. I can't stand on the inside edge, outside edge, or point. And if I try to just use the point, I'm not getting much contact, so it's gonna skate. What I need to do to control that is drop my heel and get the whole ball of my foot against the rock. Now that'll stick. Notice my toes are pointing straight up at my nose. It doesn't work as well to go sideways. So toes pointing up, lots of rubber against the rock. And in terms of body position, on a lower angle slab, I might be able to stand hips over heels, but on a steeper slab like this, I actually need my hips back so that I am pushing into the rock to get my foot to stick on that smear. So I do have to have a handhold on a really steep slab like this so that I can lean back and push in with my feet. Now, just like with other kinds of footwork, a really important thing to think about is trusting it. If I start over gripping, that's actually gonna pull me forward and get less and less rubber against the rock. So lean back or stand up straight as the case may be and really trust those smears.